Hello everybody and welcome back to Beating the Odds. It is Friday, January 27, 2023 and we are back with our college basketball best bets of the day. To recap yesterday's results, it was rough. We got crushed. We went 1-3 and three yesterday. We had Arizona State minus 2.5. They played like total and utter dog shit. Um, up by 12-0 uh, to start the game. Ended up losing by 3. They got outscored in the first half 32-8 to eight after going up that 12-0 run. Uh, we had Michigan State minus two and a half. They lost on the hook. Um, that, that was just unlucky. They had so many opportunities to get a rebound and get fouled. Uh, they missed a free throw at the end. Uh, we got on the hook there. Uh, UCLA minus four and a half. They're up by 12 in the first half. Ended up losing by 15. Um, you know, I can't really do much about that. Um, you know, but I still think UCLA is a real deal, but it's just a tough day yesterday. And then we had Michigan, um, we had University of Michigan plus five and a half. They end up getting a win against Purdue. They end up like, they end up losing by four, uh, we had them plus five and a half. So overall one, three day yesterday, but overall for the season, we're just under 60% for the year. So we're still in great shape. Um, and if you're new to the channel, uh, my name is Zach. Welcome to Beating the Odds. Um, you want to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these videos every single day. So check out our NBA video today. Uh, check out our NFL video that's coming out today at 4 p.m. Um, we're going after our first 100 subscribers, so I'm really excited to have you all here. Let's win together today and let's make some money. Let's steal some money from the sports books. Um, now, we have two picks today. I'm not going to lie. The slate today in college basketball kind of sucks. <laughs> not gonna lie, no, there's not really any games that are that are really like grabbing our attention as far as interest goes. Um, just if you're just a casual fan, but there's I, I see two places where you can make some good money today. Uh, the first bet that I see here that's pretty strong is Buffalo plus ten. They're playing Kent State. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have never watched Kent State play basketball in my life. I've never done, but I have watched Buffalo a good amount, and they're plus ten. And I'm not saying that Buffalo is a perfect team. What I am saying, though, is that plus 10 for a team that can score, a team that can shoot, that's too many points. And I can see Buffalo backdoor covering here if Kent State's really that good. But I think this game's going to be a lot closer than people think because Buffalo can absolutely score with the best of them. They hung with Toledo the whole way last week on Friday. And we had Toledo minus 5.5. They ended up getting the win. Toledo did. But Buffalo plus 10 here, that's way too many points. Hit them now. I think this line's going to drop to nine, eight, seven points, somewhere in that range. You see these kind of things swing. If you bet them early in the day, you would get a better line. And then our second bet of the day is going to be St. Louis minus a point and a half at Davidson. You could take the money line if you want to be a little safer. But I see St. Louis being a much better team than Davidson. All the dumb money, all everyone and their mother is all over Davidson because Seth Curry went there. Oh, my God, they went to the tournament last year. They're not that good. They, they are not that good. They're a 10-10 team this year. Um, St. Louis is much higher than the Kempom rings. The fact that they're a point-and-a-half favorite means they're substantially better because they're playing on the road against Davidson. And that means if this was at home in St. Louis, St. Louis is probably a 5-6-7 point favorite. Uh, so St. Louis minus a point-and-a-half here. I love them in this spot. Take St. Louis minus a point-and-a-half. So the quick recap, we had Buffalo plus 10. Uh, they're playing against Kent State. We had St. Louis minus a point-and-a-half. Uh, let's go lock those bets in. Let's make some money today, and I will see you all tomorrow.